Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another Visual Basic programming tutorial. Uh, in the last tutorial, we learned how to program a stopwatch. So make sure you have this program running uh, before you continue with this tutorial. So basically, your program has to be able to act like a real stopwatch. Press the start button and it'll start counting the number of seconds. Uh, press stop it'll stop counting, press start again, it'll start counting again press stop, stops counting, press reset, goes back to zero and so on. So make sure you can do this, make sure you have this program running before continuing with this tutorial. Okay so now we're going to go into the coding section and we want to continue uh, with this program to turn it into a, a typing speed uh, tester. So basically what we wanted to do is we're going to type some words in and it's going to calculate how many words we have typed and how fast our typing speed is uh, in terms of uh, words per number of words per minute. Okay so firstly let's create a toolbox where we're going to type. So uh, I'm going to make this window a bit bigger and then I'm going to drag in a, a text box, sorry, create a text box. And initially you can see that this text box only has one line. Now that is because there is a property called multi-line which we need to enable. So uh, under the properties for text box 1, go into the uh, multi-line uh, property and change that from false to true and we're also going to change the name of our text box uh, actually I don't think there is any harm in just calling it text box 1 okay so if you run this program now you can see that right now we can the timer functions are still working except when we type in here nothing happens nothing happens okay so what we wanted to do is firstly I want to uh, I, I want to uh, I want this program to count how many words I'm typing so uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna create another label here and I'm gonna this is just a normal uh, label without any sort of uh, coding behind it and the text for label 2 is gonna say number of words number of words and uh, then I'm gonna create another label that actually displays how many words that I have typed and instead of calling it label 3 I'm gonna call it words label okay so this is gonna be updated with how many words I have typed okay now if you double click on the text box what we want to do is under text box 1 uh, instead of uh, the text changed event I'm gonna go to the uh, key down event and the reason for that is because we're writing some code to react to the key down event so delete the text changed uh, event handler and we want to go into the text box one underscore key down event so when a key is pressed we want the code to do something okay so uh, if you think about it when we are typing when we're typing in the text box so actually I'm just gonna copy out some uh, a Wikipedia article that I have on the screen so when I'm typing every time I press the space bar the number of words increases by one Right, because every time you type a word you press space 
that's one more word you've just typed so what we're gonna do is back in the code I'm gonna say when the spacebar is pressed so select case e dot uh, key value so when the uh, so case keys dot space when the when the space bar is pressed uh, what's going to happen is we're going to increase the number of words by one. So I'm going to, uh, so just under the public class form one, I'm going to declare another variable that is uh, <clears throat> going to be used throughout the program called number of words as uh, integer because we're not going to have any decimals and it's going to start with zero. So when the space bar is pressed, what's going to happen is I'm going to increase the number of words by one. And as well as updating the number of words label, which is words label, updating this label with the number of words variable. So the number of words variable, whatever is in that variable is going to display uh, in the words label. Okay, so what, if, what happens now is if you run the program, you'll see that if you type some text, the number of words is increasing. Uh, so the only thing we want to do now is uh, the number of words initially should say zero. Okay, so the text initial text should say zero. Okay, and the last thing we want to do is to display the typing speed. So I'm going to make another variable in the code uh, called dimension typing speed. Now, the speed, I'm going to make it double. I'm going to declare as double. And what that means is uh, I'm going to allow decimal numbers in this variable. And so it's not just an integer. It's going to have uh, numbers after the decimal point. So when I press the space bar, I also want it to calculate my typing speed which is the number of words divided by uh, the number of seconds. Now notice if I do that, number of seconds, if I do that, it's going to give me your typing speed in terms of number of words per second. But usually the typing speed is measured in number of words per minute so we're going to times this answer by 60 and I'm going to create another label or another two labels to display how fast you're typing so label 3 is going to say um, words per minute and uh, so I'm going to create another label uh, and uh, it's going to say speed, sorry the name of it is speed label and initially it's going to say zero of course. Okay so in the code uh, when the space bar is pressed it's going to increase the number of words by one and it's also going to update the speed label dot text with the typing speed with the data stored in the typing speed variable okay so what happens now is you will see that when I'm typing so firstly I gotta press start timer and then when I'm typing
it's updating the words per minute. So every time I press the space bar, it updates the words per minute. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I guess the only thing we need to do now is program it so that when we press the start timer, so when we press the start timer, the focus shifts to the text box straight away instead of having to click on the text box again to start typing. So uh, when we when we click the start button, which is uh, here, it's going to shift the focus to text box one dot text box one dot focus. And what that does is when we press the when we click the start timer button, automatically shifts our uh, shifts our focus to the text box so I can start typing straight away. And you can see the words per minute as soon as you press spacebar. So it's a pretty nifty little tool. So I'm just going to now use this to test my typing speed after I type for a whole 30 seconds. Reset the timer. Actually, after you press reset. I want everything to go back to zero. So um, I want the number of seconds to go back to zero. I want the typing speed to go back to zero. I want everything to go back to zero. Number of words go back to zero. All right. As soon as you click the, uh, reset button, and obviously it's going to update the words label and the speed label. So that way we don't have to close the program every time we type something. So you press start, type some stuff. And then once you finish, press uh, stop, stop the timer, reset it, everything goes back to zero, delete your, delete the contents of your text box. Okay, so I'm going to start timing myself, I'm going to type for 30 seconds and see how fast I type. Okay, ready, uh, ready, set, go. So about 107 words per minute from typing this text. Okay, thanks for watching the tutorial. Uh, see you next time.